What's up everyone, my name is Zach. Welcome to the Last Llama Gaming Channel. Today, I have an in-game Fire Mage build for you. This is a full fire build, no magic abilities. Um, we're just going all in on the fire and burning. So let's get into the armor you need and then we'll go to the skills and then I'll show you some gameplay. So the armor you need is more veils set. So you need his helmet, chest, pants, boots, and bracers. And then the sword you need is the Soulfire Sword, and the staff you need is the Phoenix Herald. So let's get into what each one of these does. So his armor set gives you burning enemies take more damage, and the blinding light skill is improved, deals fire damage, and no longer requires skill points to equip. I already thought blinding light was one of the best abilities in the game for the mage and this just makes it so much better so the soul fire sword gives you damages increased for each nearby burning enemy plus 40 percent uh you're gonna be burning a lot of enemies so this is a no-brainer for this sword for a fire mage the staff phoenix herald grants a permanent fiery aura that damages and burns enemies now this is a really cool staff i want to say it's the best staff I would probably use the Relentless Sentinel in its place, but since this is a full fire build, this just fits the aesthetic. Your rings and amulet are your preference, um, whatever your favorite ones are. God skill tree, um, nothing in particular. I did try out the burning enemies take more magical damage, but that seems to only affect magic abilities, not fire. The right side of the tree seems to be more damage focused and the left is more defensive focused, but either one is going to help you survive on this left side or do more damage on this right side. Okay, so let's get into the skills for this build. First we have the Ashy Missile Superior, the fire damage one, it's right here. And then we have the Phoenix Bulwark Mastered. We have Step Between Worlds Mastered. We have Breath of Fire Mastered, Etheric Vortex Mastered, and then we have the Blinding Light Heroic. If you take a look at those stats, that's crazy. It does a ton of damage, ton of health regen, energy regeneration, and 50% damage. It's a great skill. It's kind of the core of this build. Going to our passives, we have the Ashy Mastery. Fire damage is increased. Each nearby burning enemy increases critical hit chance. So since you're burning so many enemies, that increased crit chance is very good. Crit chance is very hard to come by in this game, so any chance you get to boost it, uh, you should take it. It's very useful, but there's not many ways to get it. Our second passive is the Quace Shield Mastered. Gives you 10% health restored when you're using energy, so mostly fire breath. Also, minus 10% damage taken. That's just great all around. Final passive is Master of Equilibrium. So this is just going to give you a chance to reduce cooldowns as well as a chance to reduce energy so that's always useful some replacements for this build will be if you're fighting bosses i recommend unequipping the fire etheric vortex and equipping the laser because this laser melts single targets that are easy to hit and that's about it you don't really need to use the etheric tornado or the etheric orb you can if you prefer but they are not necessary all right guys so this is what your character is gonna look like pretty epic your staff's on fire you got your ring of fire that's why i recommend using this staff for a fire build it's just fits the aesthetic it's perfect so let's get into the gameplay your move order should be something like this you're going to cast blinding light you're going to cast your dome you're going to cast your phoenix wall and then you're going to cast fire breath and that's pretty much the order of abilities and as you can see you're just encased in fire constantly so Definitely a badass build and it is very cool to look at. So let's go down and fight some enemies. This is on Chaos 4. This is viable on Chaos 5, it's just I didn't change the settings before I came in here. But as you can see we're already burning all these enemies. So most of those enemies were already half dead before we even casted any abilities. So the fire ring is very good for small mobs, weak enemies. So you're going to cast your blinding light, cast your etheric vortex, cast your wall of fire, and then cast your fire breath. And that's about all there is to it. You will melt most enemies in the game. And look at that, I even got a heroic item from a basic enemy. All right, guys, that is the Fire Mage build. If you have any questions about the build, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you have any recommendations on how this build can be improved, go ahead and leave those in the comments as well. Also, do you think the Fire 
build is better or the magic build in my personal opinion i think the pure magic build is better than the pure fire but let me know what you think so if you guys enjoyed this build consider leaving a like and subscribing i'll be posting more guides and builds i'd like to thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video